I hope that you guys have had luck finding these big planters at Dollar Tree this year. Let me know down in the comments if you've been able to find them. They are so nice and for a dollar, it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna start by poking holes at the bottom of the planter for drainage. Next, I'm going to spray paint the planter with two coats of a flat black spray paint. Now that's all I had to do and it really updated this planter. In the planter, I'm gonna be adding in a fern, which is one of my favorite plants to get. They're usually around $12 at Walmart and it's one that I could typically keep alive. So I like to get these and I think they just look so lush. My outdoor patio wouldn't be complete without having some fresh herbs. So I wanted to make some really cute signs. I found these little chalkboard signs with the clips on the back at Dollar Tree. Now these are typically pretty easy to find. So I created some labels for the front of these. So I just went into Cricut Design Space, picked out a font that I like, and then I typed out the herb names. I'm gonna print these out on a white smart vinyl. and then I'll just weed them out. I'm gonna use transfer tape to put them on my little chalk signs. Now for my plants, I actually picked up a couple of pots at Walmart. They were $2.50, but I liked how they had the drainage. You could also get something similar at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to transfer the herbs to these cute little white pots. And then I'm gonna clip the labels on the top and style them on my coffee table. One of my favorite summer finds are the solar lights that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. I grabbed three of them for this project. Whenever I need wood, I go to my garage where we have quite a few scraps. I actually picked up this piece of lumber back in the fall when I made these cute little pumpkins. So I thought this would be perfect for this project that I wanted to do. So I'm gonna cut three pieces so that they're at like three different heights. I really wasn't concerned about how long they were. I just wanted a small, medium, and large one. Next, I'm gonna pop off the bottom portion of the solar light. I'm gonna drill a hole down into the center of the wood pieces that I cut. Now my hole, I have to drill it far enough down so that I could fit that little portion at the bottom of the solar light into that little enclosure. Next, I'm gonna use some nautical rope that I had on hand, and I'm gonna start at the back, and I'm gonna hot glue it around my wood pieces at the bottom. Now, I wrapped this around about six times, and I repeated this for all three of my wood pieces. Next, I'm just gonna pop the solar lights into my wood. Now these were pretty snug, so I didn't have to add any additional glue, but if they wouldn't have been as snug, I probably would have added in glue. And these are great to put out on your outdoor spaces or you could put them at your front porch and they just have a nice glow at night. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.